Binge Pipe offers a new service where we explain to your mom what happened in the part of the show she was watching after she fell asleep. So who is he? Her son. Oh, wait, what now? What do you remember? I remember a party for the one guy. That's her son. Is he the handsome one? Yes. With the beard? No, wait, no. I'm confused. Binge Pipe, we're patient. Is it possible to have too much content? These new bin- Binge Pipe would like to express its deep regret for investing in You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, the number one subscription service you are too lazy to cancel. Hi, I'm your host, Cookie, and this is my new fidget spinner. Oh my god, that's a blender. It's a blender. Hey Stella, don't think having a cool name like Stella is going to give you an edge in this game. Yeah, just stop thinking that. Ready or not, here we go. Start game. Time for question one. Let's start with a totally relatable childhood memory. If you're playing football in the backyard and your dad yells, go deep, where's the best place you could run to impress him? Death Valley, the Malloy Deep, the Caspian Depression, or Mariana's Trench? So what'd you pick? The Mariana Trench is the deepest spot on the planet at over 36,000 feet below sea level. Your dad better have a really good arm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And now, Degrassi, the previous generation. If draconian leader Drake the Rapper ruled over us, it would mean we started at the bottom and now... We're here to work without oversight. We're heathens living in a theocracy. We're heavily punished for minor offenses. Or we're hereafter known by our class titles. Okay, who chose what? Oh, give me a Drake. Draconian laws, named for the first Grecian legislator, emphasize severity and authoritarianism. People arrested in this system aren't even allowed one hotline bling. Why do we do it with three? Try this on for size. Oh, holy grain. And it's time for a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's an Egyptian deity or a type of whole grain. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between Egyptian deity or whole grain. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Okay, let's do it. Pharaoh. Osiris. The majority of you are just average, but you all, you really whizzed that dis or dat down your leg. Uh-oh! Binge Pipe diagnosticates that someone is pouting. Oh, that means it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself, apparently. Consider yourselves nurtured, consumers. I don't need you anymore. 
Coming up next, question McQuestion Face. Remember that online poll to name the research boat and everyone chose Boaty McBoatface? And we all realized there was still good in the world? If Bodie McBoatface married the director of the movie Face Off, what would be the full name of the lucky bride? Bodie Bay McBoatface? Bodie Tarantino? What's this? Player three decided to screw. Let's get this question trending. What'd you guys pick? No, but they could always work together on a remake of Robot Cop. The director of Face Off is John Woo. Now the proud husband of a polar research vessel and father to half a dozen lifeboats. Nicely screwed, Player 3. Here's that cash. How about this one? South by South North. Which of these southern points is farthest north? The southern tip of South Korea? Well, what do you know? Player 4 just screwed the room. No, don't worry, gray is very distinguished. Let's see how that shook out. The south of South Wales is the farthest north of all these southern points. This type of directional confusion is what we do west. That screw is a good move, player four. Enjoy your cash. <laughs> Round one is dead to me. The Vegas bookmakers need to see the current scores. Currently, these players have the same number of points. <laughs> Weird. And as a counterpoint, these players are doing the bad thing. Looks like someone needs a little more help. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy about using them. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? Really good stuff. Six trombones is not a parade. Here we have... I remember when reality TV was about something. It's amazing to me that Survivor is still on the air. I honestly thought they would run out of islands by now. If Survivor shot a season on the largest island of debris in the ocean, what would that season be called? Survivor Great Atlantic Garbage Patch? Survivor Great Indian... No, here it comes. Player One just screwed everyone. Maybe it's time to rebrand. we do coined the great pacific garbage patch the world's largest collection of ocean garbage which is roughly the size of texas is located in the pacific ocean Whoa. good god i love watching garbage on tv that screw is a good move player one have some cash oh and it looks like we've got some name changes that should throw the feds off your trail Je trouve Jerry Lewis sonnant légèrement amusant. 7. This one's called Beware of Gamers Bearing Gifts. Which of these would be a level from Super Mario Odyssey if it mirrored the story of Homer's Odyssey? Level 2, Riddle of the Yoshi. Level 5, Angry Goomp. Oh, look out. Player 4 just used that screw. Don't forget your password. it. Homer's Odyssey ends with the hero defeating all the men who tried to marry his beloved. He probably jumped on their heads or something. It's been a long time since I read it. Way to screw player four. Spend this wisely.
T'was then I learned to heed the winds of it. Feast your eyes upon this. My fruit tastes are very singular. And hey, stress cut with mime sore. It's time for a Snare Clutch Mister. Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, get ready. Look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what popular song title it rhymes with. Tart, red plum, you got them? And don't get hung up on that punctuation. I used to be very low. Okay, what was it? Oh, in player five, I saw what you typed in, and uh, I want to thank you for it. You know, people ask me all the time, Cookie, what's your favorite part of the game? And I'll say something like, Oh, I love this or that questions. Total garbage. Because you and I both know this is my favorite part of the game. The FU file. Because I know that when you type that in, what you're really saying is, I love you. Anyway, I know you want the full Easter egg treatment, so uh, look at your device. Okay, back to the game. Let's try Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. It's monster. Correctly predicted seven World Cup matches. Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. Okay, let's take a look. Paul the Octopus correctly predicted all seven of Germany's World Cup matches in 2010 by picking a food container in his tank with the team's flag on it. In other news, Frankenstein was zero for seven. Next, quick fuel. Given how long it took last time, if you asked Earth to produce more coal, how would it respond? One sec, just give me three million years. One sec, just give me 30 million years. One sec, just give me 300 million. Let's see who got it. The hard coal currently on our planet first began forming 300 million years ago. Which really isn't that bad when you think about how long it takes a guy like me to get a text back. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. That's unusual. This one's a little out there. Good luck.
I gotta hand it to you, Player 4. From this day henceforth, you shall be known as that person who won that game that one time. It's mostly an honorary title because... Step into my office, now. You smell that? Step out and then back in. Right? Or is it just me? I know you're disappointed, Toby, but just because we found out Grandpa is evil doesn't mean the whole summer has to be ruined. Go, Mayor. Go, Mayor. Go, Mayor. I've never told anyone that before. Not even my mom, because I feel so close to you, Jennifer. My name is Kendall. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs>